uh, each other's time. Representative Sewell. I want to thank all of our witnesses for being here today. Uh, I want to start by saying that diversity is truly America's strength. It is something that we should take seriously and not politicize or weaponize. Second, our service academies teach students how to think, not what to think. Learning about diversity, our nation's history, or other races and cultures help our students become critical thinkers. It does not train them to hate this country or any race. To assume our students cannot handle this information is truly an insult to their intelligence and ours. One of the facts of our nation's history is that for centuries, African Americans were systematically denied the opportunity to pursue higher education, leaving a painful history of discrimination that still persists today. So when the Air Force Academy's class of 2027 is only 4% black, you can't tell me that our military or service academies spend too, too much time and too much money or attention on diversity. I dare say African Americans definitely make up more than 4% of our military. Our core officers are far less racially diverse than our enlisted uh, troops and does not reflect society as a whole. Our military is the best in the world and it will stay that way as long as we have the best players on the field, if you will. My first question is to you, Lieutenant General Clark. When aspiring for leadership positions, I often tell my interns that, you know, you have to see it to be it or some people feel that way. And I know for me, interning for my member of Congress when I was in college, and that was a while ago, was a, was a, a, a really important part of me deciding to run for Congress 25 years later. So black students can be told that they have the opportunity to lead, but when they see General Austin, I mean, Secretary Austin, and they see you, and they see so many others, often they, that proves that they indeed can do it. So from your personal experience, can you speak to why representation in officer corps is so important for the students that you recruit? Thank you, ma'am. Um, I believe it's important because first of what you said, um, we want people of whatever demographic they're from, whatever background they're from, to know that they can succeed in our organization, that those opportunities are there, but also, when they're leading our broader Air Force and our Space Force, they are going to lead a force made up of Americans. And those uh, airmen and guardians that they're gonna lead need to know that they're not only represented amongst their, their own force, but they're also represented amongst their leadership. And that helps the leadership as well as the, the force that they're leading to connect so that we can all drive towards the common goals. And I think it's Thanks, vitally sir. important that we have the, the, uh, a good balance of uh, Thank you. diversity. Thank you, ma'am. You know, I'm proud that my district is home to Marion Military uh, Institute, one of the four military junior colleges. Impressively, MMI has had 456 service academy appointments in five years. We're very proud that Marion Military Institute, not only in the district, but in the rural part of my district. Can each of you speak uh, to the important role that the military junior academies and preparatory schools have in building a pool of diverse, qualified candidates uh, for these academies? And I'll start with you, doesn't matter. Thank you for that question, ma'am. Uh, we have at the Naval Academy, we have affiliated with 17 different private schools around the country that we call our foundation schools. They complement our Naval Academy Prep School, which is located up in Newport, Rhode Island, to have an additional year of preparation before uh, uh, matriculating to the Naval Academy. 
Some of those 17 schools are the junior military academies that you described. Are they important in terms of uh, creating a pool of diverse candidates for your academy? They're, they're very, very important. They have geographic diversity. They're spread all around the country. So their populations that come may come from their local area that learned about the military because they were in proximity to that school. So their, their, their value added in helping us recruit and build an applicant pool. General Woman's time has expired. Thank you, Admiral. Uh, Representative Moylan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. As I've been listening to my colleagues' question, 